Okay, we're back to it. Trying to get stabbed, everybody. Okay, this could be interesting. We're at the lodge, and like, Emma's alive. That's a difference. Unless Emma just acts uh, like Abigail. What happened here? Eh, it's complicated. Gosh. I used to think this place was so cozy. This place, really? Yeah, it reminded me of a ski lodge. Sounds... Okay, I'm more confused than ever before. So, she didn't say anything about the scuffle with the who's and the what's it's because this time he she immediately got caught in the first scene, so no scene happened. But once again, last scene, last season, I guess I'll call last playthrough last season, <laughs> that didn't explain why there was a mess anyway. But also I think he might be the exact character who earlier in this playthrough explained that this stuff is put on the stairs in order to, like, stop the, like, raccoons or whatever from climbing up the stairs. No, 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 no. It was, uh, it was Nick. Nick explained that while he was in the bathroom next to, the, next to them. And then Jake, Jacob was like, ah, boring. And so we've already explained why the stairs are blocked. Why are we explaining why they're blocked again at the end of the game when nothing explains why they're blocked? <laughs> Cold. <laughs> but you've never fantasized about being trapped on a remote ski resort in a snowstorm? The cable car is broken and you've only got each other for warmth. And when the food runs out, you've only got each other. It's a weird fantasy. It's the plot of Until Dawn. They're fucking with us. They just summarized Until Dawn, but the only got each other part is, is cannibalism. Uh... A ski vacation does sound pretty nice right about now, though, huh? You ever been skiing? <laughs> Don't know the first thing about it. A couple trips down the bunny slope, you'll get the hang of it. <laughs> well then, we better get this van up and running then, huh? I wonder why that conversation didn't happen last Wait. time. Unless I forgot, somehow. Oh shit, she's in the car. Is there... Is there something in there? Cause she's bit. Know. What is it? I... Jacob? Emma? Are they... Should I open it up? Your funeral, buddy. Don't open it. No! No, Dylan! You guys are so fucked. Right, Emma's bit, so they're really fucked. Wow, this is very different from last time. Okay. Uh. Uh. Fuck. I think one of you dies here because Emma's alive. Like, I don't. You can't really fight her. Unless you just book it right now, fast enough that it, uh... Bring it on, asshole! No, that's not a good bet. Mm. Run! Why are you still here? How many shots does this thing have? I thought it was two. Okay, now you're just doing it on your own. Okay, that scene where they were nervous about the van for no reason last time makes more sense this time. Because something was actually happening. Okay. Can you fix it? No. <laughs> oh. Not without some parts. Specifically, a rotor arm. There's a scrapyard up the road. So you can fix it? Well, no promises, but if there's hope, that's where we're going to find it. That sounds like a long shot. Got something better to do? Not die? Yeah, I'd like that too, by getting the hell out of here. Okay, well just because you're using logic to make sense doesn't mean that I'm totally into it. I do kind of wish that he had been bitten. It was a cool plot twist being like, oh, that's the payoff of the cabin at the beginning. But now we're just getting most of the same stuff. 
So I kind of I wonder what this is like when Caitlyn's alone because Abigail died and Dylan would have been bitten, so he would just be going around right now. Does she still go to the scrapyard alone? What did she even do about the attacker? Huh? What was that? Oh, it's nothing. We got we got guests downstairs. We don't want any more blood on our hands. What the hell happened to you anyway? Uh, it's a long story, Miles. So. You always got a long story. Come on. Fine. Ow. Oh, get up. Stay down. Keep it down. You keep it down. Shh. This way. Come on. The Emperor. Yeah, some of these are just free. Oh, Jesus! You sure nobody else? I think we're okay. I don't think anyone hurt us. They hurt you. I have trouble accepting that they would even hear somebody just fall on their ass in a place this big, on, just on concrete. Just, it's just it's noticeably good. sound dampening in that there's not, you're not gonna hear the impact, I mean. Just him. Okay, please don't shoot Nick this time. Granted, I think Nick will kill Jacob, so... Hey, it's Ryan. Jesus, what happened to you? No, it's electrified, so he'll get shocked and they will definitely get caught again. I'd like to not fail this like last time, which was your fault. Oh, shit. Look, you gotta get me out of here, man. How? Seriously. It's electrified. Okay, um, there's a box in the corner of the room. I think that's how they're operated, okay? I saw this old guy, under dude from the woods. He used that. Why are you here, Travis? You ought to be out with the others. Like I say, we've been all night long trying to keep those kids safe. Ma. Uh. <clears throat> it's Kaylee. She's dead. No. The boys are bringing her in right now. Now I know you got a screw loose in that cop head of yours. There ain't no way to kill her in her kind of condition. Silver bullet. She's dead, Ma. No. God damn. No. No, no. No, no. Not my granddaughter. Not my only granddaughter, not my Kaylee, not my little Kaylee, not my little Kaylee, not my little Kaylee! You goddamn piece of shit! Not my little Kaylee! God damn you! What did you do to her? She just jumps to the idea that he, that, that she did it. That he did it. Did you get bitten? Is she crazy? Wait! It's him! Think about it. Why would they lock him in a cage? And who the hell is it? Who the hell is she? She's in charge. You've already got it wrong once. It might even be Nick. Your friend? Hey, listen. Okay, they said that they've already got two of us accounted for. Whatever that means. Whoever this is, they're, they're not going anywhere. Remember? 
We've got to be sure. You promise. Fine. Fine. You've got to get me out of here. Okay, seriously, man. Now she's getting real shaky because her whole reasoning is like we... Like, how, now she's got to be thinking, like, how will I be sure? How the fuck do you know whether it's Chris ever when they're all these weird monsters? And, like, his logic of, like, well, he's in a cage. I'm like, a cage seems like a pretty reliable place to put them. <laughs> I, you probably should get in the cage if you're about to turn into the monster since they don't like, keep control. Chris is just chained upstairs, which isn't a better solution. He breaks out on his own. <laughs> They took it! You fucking idiot! Ma. God damn it! You fucking piece of shit! Get away! Get away from me! They're close. Didn't get that last time because we interrupted. Help Jake? How do we help Jacob, though? Okay. 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 Talk me through. Okay, so... All I know... Is you have to open my door... And that door. And definitely not that door. Oh, cool. Thanks, detective. Okay, fuck you, man. I'm trying to help. No, fuck you. I'm trying to... Shut up! Shut up! This guy is bigger so much. On the wall over there, like a box. Or whatever. You should be able to use those switches to isolate each cage. Okay. Hang tight. This okay. is stressful. <laughs> I might lose one of my lives. Have I only lost one so far? Come on. We're getting to the killing field. What? Two and four. Ah. <sighs> uh... Can I look again? What direction am I pressing? Bottom left? I think three is his? Is it one and three? <laughs> this prick. I can do this, I can do this. Look at the numbers again, you weirdo! Let me see them all clearly. I. I I think the... Fuck. I think the numbers were bigger on the left. I think that the wolf has the biggest number. Because it's like seven, I think. Okay. Hey, dude. Nice. All right, now don't fuck it up. Uh, two and one. I think the numbers have to add up to the right number, but I don't know what, for sure what the numbers are. Is it was is his number three? Okay. Okay. Numbers were like three and four or something, and his is like seven. Oh, damn. You look awful. Thanks. Help. Where's everyone else? Um. Jake, Emma wasn't with them. I don't know where she is. But you should go catch up with them. Be careful. Came into the mines. I don't. I don't know if there's a way back up. So so far, I think Abigail's the only death. We just saved Nick and Jake from that scene that would have killed both of them potentially, or either of them. Not my God. Not, not my only granddaughter. Not my Kaylee. Not my little Kaylee. What? So, you... You had those motherfucking counselors in your goddamn jail for two whole motherfucking months, right? And you are telling me now that instead of putting a bullet into each one of their little sorry shit-stained brains? 
You you gave them your silver bullet gun and they shot my Kaylee with it? Is that what you were telling me now, Travis? No more blood on your hands. That's what you, you, you said it. Oh my God, we are way past that now. Oh, Ma, what, what if it had been me or, or, or Bobby? What then? She was your family. A good boy protects his family. You ain't no good boy. I wish I could take it all back. I wish I could take it all back, but I can't. Well, I just don't, I, I don't understand why you, you, you couldn't have just taken care of the problem when you had the chance. Taking care of the problem? Do you hear yourself? Yes, I hear my goddamn self. I may be old, but I ain't deaf. I'm a police officer! Oh, so now I'm blind, you motherfucker! <laughs> now I'm blind. Well, see, uh, well, you see, Mom, what you're doing is you're conflating the morality of intention with outcome. And see, there's a, there's a difference between the two and... Oh, you just flashing that badge around like it's worth a million dollars. The only reason you got it is because Hank got killed in a gypsy fire! Oh, there we go. Uh, Don't ma! Don't ma me! Would you sit down, please? Don't you tell me what to do. Please. And don't you go around. Don't you go around like you better than everybody else, because you ain't. Would you please sit down? Don't you tell me what to do, you piece of shit. Yes. What is about to happen here? Ryan, run! Ma, send Bobby down. Her beauty is a tiger. Be careful, make sure that This music cue, I'm so confused by it. Her beauty is inside her. That's why I need to find the key tonight. When I say yes! The needle drop moments are just so sudden. You're like, what is happening? It's time for a cliffhanger. See you next episode. Welcome back. Did you miss me? That's kind of what they're going for, I guess. You've brought me some more of my cards. Let's have a look, shall we? I guess what throws me is it's like 10 episodes. 11 if you count the prologue. And only like three of them have musical outros. Lovers. There's harmony and disagreement. I think. Brought to light only by sparks of passion. <laughs> Blood flows from the heart. You can almost taste it. And tasting it could save someone's life. The wheel of fortune. After all, fortune is nothing but a spinning wheel. Sometimes you have to take a chance. Karma works in mysterious ways, but it favors those who pay attention. Watch closely. Though the wheel spins, the eagle-eyed can tell where it's going to stop. Three. The Emperor. Authority, paternity, strictures designed to topple, no? How the mighty may fall, and their empires with them. Let them bleed. Let them rip each other apart. Let them rot. <laughs> Details. I don't remember which one I did last time. Then it might have been Wheel of Fortune. The future you'd like to witness, and watch carefully. Try and find some clarity in the chaos. Uh. Uh. Go. 
You still got time. Be careful now. Be very careful. Amazing revelation. There are wolves. <laughs> it attacked attack people. You can't see... The fact that they obscure it even more, even though if you see the full-size clip, you basically can't tell what's happening anyway, is just really funny. Have you been there before? The scrapyard? Nah. Just seen the sign on my way to camp. What if we just, like, walk to the main road? This isn't the main road? No, this is all Hackett property. The main road is another mile that way. Wait, how do I know so much more about everything than you do? Wait, shut up. So basically, it's another hour walk to the main road, and then at least another three to four hour walk until we hit the nearest whatever? Yeah. What was that? Let's just keep moving. Okay. I'm still really in... I'm not... What wolf attacked them last time? This time it could be uh, Emma. Laura, huh? Oh boy. Can we not? <laughs> I don't think either of us want the idea of Ryan being with her. Do you think there was something going on there? <sighs> yeah, there were definitely sparks flying there. Yeah, I know, but I couldn't tell if it was angry sparks or like sexy sparks definitely felt like sexy sparks <sighs> doesn't she already have a boyfriend yeah but ryan's ryan <sighs> not that it matters now that he's off on a daring adventure with little miss mysterious how do you compete with that kind of got close at the fire pit back there. Am I crazy or was something about to happen? There's always next year, right? Well, let's get through this year first. The commiseration of think we missed our shot. I, I feel like last time it said think I. It's like we finally know Ryan's type. Confident. And heroic. With an eye patch. So pirates. Maybe she shivers his timbers. <laughs> There. I was waiting for the connection that he was talking about having a hook hand last time, but they never made the connection. But the dialogue, I think, is written agnostic to whether or not he's missing a hand. It's a motion sensor. We're okay. I think. Oh, look. Steampunk's back in. Ew. Come on. This way. I guess we'll see whether or not this, this set piece can play out massively differently. And one of them might die. I don't know. Put me down! Easy, Ma. Put me down, you witch! Blow your fucking head up! Ah, bitch! Everybody just relax. Can't shoot what you can't see, darling. <laughs> Why is she so bizarrely self motivated to have this little action segment? Gotcha. Alright. What even happens if I don't shoot her, I guess? What you did to my Kaylee. Get the fuck off me! You ain't hurting us anymore. You are done. So that kills her. But this time it didn't. Murderous bitch. Ma, shut the fuck up! That ain't no way to be talking to your mother. Yes, sir. <laughs> Different. What, doing, asshole? what the hell is going on up here? We ain't keeping them safe anymore, Bobby. Not after what they did to our Kaylee. Uh -huh. <laughs> God damn it. I should have gone with distract. I forgot who I was controlling because the camera was looking at him. I 
It's weird how he just magnetizes to the spot he just knows to take this route. I think parts of the ending are pretty on rails in a frustrating way. And everyone just kind of goes where the plot tells them to go without necessarily having an idea why. It feels a little too much like Man of Medan sometimes, where people are just like walking to the next set piece uh, okay. on the ship. All right, that's not good. Yeah, it's very bad. Oh, it's a bad idea. Fuck! Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, now you're in trouble because. Oh, this is a really bad idea. Because now there's going to be like a trail. Isn't there? From the bleeding? That might have been kind of stopped before. Is this the, uh, the letter? Yeah, so that's this chapter's evidence. We actually found the last two last time. This is Kaylee's letter they read on the podcast. And then I just have to get the trail cam footage again. But him having the knife out might suit. Oh! What the fuck? These hiding spots. Him having the knife out might significantly reduce his ability to hide. Or run, I don't know. So this door's locked. Real dusty in there. I feel like he might die. Especially since I'll probably pick the don't bite me option even if we get that far because we're just picking different options this playthrough. So it's that boat's poorly for people that I survived as before. It would have been really bad for Dylan if I it wasn't for the fact that I largely didn't have a choice. I'd already preemptively saved him apparently. Dylan was bit, and Abby was bit. There would be so many wolves in play. What a problem. Uh, block door, I guess. That's not great. He didn't even put it under the handle. That had accomplished nothing. Kinda hoped that if I hit block door, you would block the door, you know? This door's locked. Uh, I'll be real proud of you if you actually open. Okay. This guy does not go any faster. Uh, slam it behind you for funsies. He does move as slowly as physically possible. You can't hide from me in my own house, fucker! You're a fucker. <laughs> it's such a dumb line. It's so dumb. Sure, let's hide this time. In an open tub. <laughs> Here we go. Hey Lance, you barely had scenes last time.
I can hear you breathing, little girl. No, you can't. I'm holding my breath. Factually untrue. I'm literally holding my breath. Wow. Says that sure saved you a lot of time. <laughs> he literally is right there. How did you get so... He just doesn't run? These guys don't run. We do things slowly in the south. Sure, let's play the piano this time, you fucking psycho. This is a normal <laughs> action. Watch it do something, I swear to God. Dick. Why did it sound like that? Shot smoke everywhere. I just don't understand why she would ever have the option to try to play the piano when she's trying to run away and hide. It's like, what if I made a loud noise? For funsies. It's not like it's a decoy. Chris, Caleb, and Kaylee. See, they were supposed to have Chris. It literally was supposed to be Chris in the cage. That's how bad their reasoning was, is that they were just dead wrong. The Hackett family tree is Hank on here? Uh, oh god, it's a lot of names. Uh, I don't see Hank. Because Hank the sheriff died, but I don't know if, if, if Hank was a Hackett. Seems improbable. Seems like they would have be that that he took over being a sheriff because the other sheriff that wasn't related to them died. We also have like no people who live in this town. <laughs> like it's just this family and Hank, seemingly. Watch the Harbinger Hotel also be run by this family. Oh, we're about to let Nick out. Uh, howdy, darling. Hey, you're both alive now. That's, uh... I, I kept you alive. That was nice of me. That was... You, if you knew the other timeline, you'd be we thankful right now. No more, little girl. Try me, motherfucker. Careful, Jen. She looks awful. No, she's been bit. You know something? I ain't got enough silver to kill you, but our sure to hell can make you suffer. That's a really bad plan for when she then turns into the werewolf. What is even the point? Travis, get your ass up here. We need silver for this one. I think Travis. they're both just gonna die. <laughs> I think we went. I think we went from not saving her. We went from killing her on the, with a shotgun to killing her with wolf mode. I think. I think if I fuck this up, she just hulks out now. Oh shit! What's your position? Don't let her run, Jed. Cut her down! Yeah, she's looking bad. She's reacting to things. She probably kills them if she fights. Well, there's more wolves in play than last time. She can see in the dark. She's one of them. Where are you? Oh, you're fucked. I'm gonna enjoy watching you die, girl. 
You're really not negotiating very well considering you're the one gonna die. Everybody fucking stop right now! Take her head off, Travis. She's bit. Yeah. Yeah, fill her with silver, son. These parents. Wait, you can see her? Cause the uh, cause the light out of that door. Oh, there wasn't a fight or run option this time. Well, she's alive still then. We're keeping an unusual number of the family alive so far, unless Travis, uh, unless Nick has them. I'm sad Abby didn't turn. I thought Abby was gonna turn. I, s I swear she got bit. But she wasn't showing any signs. But I was also sure that Emma didn't get bit, and she was trans and then she did transform, so... What happens in the cutscene doesn't seem to reflect what they say afterwards about whether or not people got bitten or not. Ah. Uh, I'm so sorry, Ryan. I am just actively sabotaging you today. literally a trail of blood showing where he goes. What? <laughs> Wait, did he just go back in the hole anyway? Oh no, we're revealing a lot of on ness here. That's his word. Ryan's just as bad as the dude from Until Dawn, where he just will not die. Yo, oh, come on. Man. This is you... my knife. No, please. Please. Nobody takes my knife. You, you stabbed, stabbed him. You're leaking red like a juice box. Oh, please, you, you can, you can help me. No, oh, man, you're bleeding out. The only thing I can do is put you out of your misery. Humane life. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, Laura. Oh, no, you've been bit. Pick on someone your own size. Travis! Uh. Oh, oh, easy. What the fuck happened to you? Oh, you know, nothing out of the ordinary. Oh, Ryan. Oh. If I if I don't bite him and he still lives, I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm so sorry. That bad, huh? I keep trying to fix it. Whatever this is, people keep getting hurt. First Max, how are you? I mean, I didn't want to say it, but... You shouldn't have come with me. You think? <laughs> you didn't really accomplish anything, did he? <laughs> Am I dying? You've lost a lot of blood. Actually, he saved Jacob and oh, Nick. Oh, he'll do, right? Wait. Maybe it... maybe it will. What? Ryan. If you let me bite you... What? If you let me bite you, it means you'll be infected, which means... Which means it will heal. 
Yeah. But it also means... Yeah. Yeah, I got it, Big Bad Wolf. Yeah. <sighs> Ryan, I don't have much time. I can feel it like it's fighting to get out. If you let me bite you and you heal, then... Then I have to kill Chris. It's, it's not killing Chris, it's killing a werewolf. It's saving your own life, and mine, and Max's, and your friend's, too. Let you bite me, and live to kill Chris Hackett, or bleed out and die. Pretty much, yeah. It's your call, for now. So we doing this or no? They say for now. I just think... I think one of us needs to stay human. But you'll die. You don't care about that. You just want someone to do your dirty work. Oh. Shut <sighs> up. So it's okay for me, for Max, for your friends to be infected, just not precious Ryan, even if it saves your life. Well, now you made it weird. What a weird statement to make. As if anyone chose to be infected, or he advocated for them being infected. You can't, like, nimby werewolf. <laughs> if this has no consequence, I will actually lose my fucking mind, though. He definitely should die. I'm anticipating an ending where, like, we never kill Chris, and so it's just a shit show. Although you can still eventually kill Silas. These guys never throw anything out, huh? So it actually so might be how he gets to be once. Give me some direction on what we're looking for specifically. Well, most of these cars look like they've already been stripped apart. It's just empty frames and chassis, which doesn't help us much. Okay, so we're looking for. Engines? Well, anything relatively intact. Got it. I swear they're supposed to be looking for a rotor arm and then they forget, right? Like they just leave. I think the car that they dropped on the wolf last time probably had a rotor arm in it because it was still on and had been running recently because it was just from the hikers. So therefore, take the rotor arm out, which uh, frankly, probably didn't br break in the crash. Doesn't seem like something that would break when you drop it. The car. At least not for sure. But they didn't even check. Meanwhile, I was like, what wolf is stuck under that? Were they still stuck under the car at the end of the night? Did we kill that person? I don't know what wolf attacks in this scene. <sighs> How are we going to end up in a documentary? Caleb? No. Shut up, Clint. Let's go. Is it the same Caleb, like Caleb, then, is it the same wolf that attacks them later at the lodge? Is it Caleb? Because it wasn't Emma, because Emma didn't exist. Just not sure. We'll take a different route this time. Ah! Sorry, that was... Scary. Fuck. That's so annoying. We are being hunted by literal monsters, and this is what bothers you? You yeah, both are bad. Taking a different path is actually a choice. We broke the light that I think is going to warn us later. And I was already intending on, war on doing the thing where I, sh I shout at her instead of... Pressing the button, which might be a massively different outcome. This is a different spot. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Hey, 
There's a card. I do think Detroit has these games beat on just sheer variety of paths, like just how surprisingly variable that game gets. This the, the uh, Supermassive does seem to largely try to like vary do variations of the same scenes, which is a bit disappointing. But they don't uh, try to do uh, heavy-handed political commentary that they could then completely f fuck up. I'm on the other side of that one spot. I couldn't shimmy through. You actually do get on the other side of it. Weird. <laughs> I remember that. This is a whole thing to get into about how David Cage has his own fucked up behaviors and doing this commentary is just, he didn't really have like the right perspective to be able to do much with it. And he just kind of fucked up the whole thing a lot of the time. They're just very strange, a very strange game. Attempts were made. You still have this here? The torn and broken remains of old sideshow attractions. The way they're intertwined with the rest of the scrap shows that they've been sitting here for a long time. What's this? Garum scare. See this, Caitlin? I'm looking at everything except for cars, which is funny. There's something forgivably schlocky about the fact that these guys do horror things and so on, whereas, like, David Cage always seems convinced that he's making the Citizen Kane of video games. And the, the level of hype is just very hard to accept, because they're just not that great as far as, like, the writing and so on goes. But the, uh... Definitely, the uh, Detroit's more impressive for its like variability. Look. So, you ever operated a crane before? I actually used to be pretty pretty good at the claw game at my local arcade. The kids used to call me the grabber. No, no, uh-uh. Uh oh, I hear that, yeah. Look, why don't you see if you can lower it down so I can take a look under the hood? Do you mind if I take a little protection? Um. No way, Jose. Please? No, I'm gonna be the one who's exposed out here. But you're tough, I'm squishy. Anything comes at us, I'll take him out, okay? I need all of your attention on the task at hand. You can do this. <sighs> My go-to thing is just, why are they splitting up? Why don't you just stay together? Do you like standing out here in the middle of the open, completely exposed, Caitlin? Did that sound like a, a good idea? All right. Looks like somebody's mom never taught them how to clean up after themselves. Okay. He only uses one hand in almost all these scenes because the other one might be gone. Right. It's really funny. Complicated. Look at the way his other hand is just sitting there. His, <laughs> his other hand might as well be a stump. Look at him. All He's right. even positioning it like it doesn't work. Here goes nothing. I know these are mostly one-handed operations, but just the way that it's poised, like it's not a hand. I think I found my calling. About time! 
please grab the rotor arm? Maybe we can see if we can try and get this thing running. <gasps> Score! I guess Jacob just took off. We did, we did free him, and he does have the rotor arm. Okay, so we still get the warning. Oh, same thing happens. Ah! Oh, so it's still left car. It's extremely on rails. Oh, they really. I was. This seemed like such a set piece. I'm like. The damn on the damn I doubt you skipped this. Seems like a bad oop. Oh. Good job? Uh oh. What the fuck? This is worse. This is much worse than last time. Well, now what? Oh. Dylan, help! Uh. Oh, of course. <laughs> it literally goes back to the same endpoint. Dylan! Rusty bitch. The fact that the scene ends somehow ends exactly the same way. I don't know how to feel about that. Dylan, thank you. You actually saved my life. For realsies. Yeah, you know, no sweat. I just can't wait to see who they choose. What? To play me in the movie about how brave I am. Don't push it. <laughs> okay. <sighs> so, so much for our Brilliant escape plan. Okay, back to the lodge. Are you nuts? <laughs> Better than being out in the open. Come on. <sighs> you didn't get the rotor arm. I know I keep saying this, but what? It was your whole goal. <laughs> It's a good thing Jacob has it this time, apparently, because he... Will he do more than cry in the woods this time? Oh, they ain't getting through there in a hurry. Man, this place is huge. I might need to rest a bit. It's not too late, I can still bite you. Sorry to disappoint, but the answer is still no. Oh, don't you worry about me, I'll be fine. I'm good, actually. What are you doing? Stop it. Do you smell that? No. Never mind. Let's just find another way down. A way to Chris Hackett. Or just a way out, maybe? I'm done being chased and stabbed. Sure. And another way out. Fine. Huh. 
Hi, Chris. I don't know how they didn't see you immediately. Watch your step. Yep. Maybe he lives this playthrough? Probably not. This is pretty much the same scenario. I thought one of them wouldn't make it this far. I kind of, like, basically that? tried to make them not both make it here to make the same scene happen. I think we found Chris Hackett. Son of a bitch. Spring noises, kaboom, bang, blammo. It's already two wolves in play. Here comes a third. We, we fell into the room that Nick's already in. Kill her in this timeline because you hate her. Bobby, the gun. We did have the message. Travis will kill you. What are they just leaving? Wasn't Travis here a second ago? Why doesn't he kill Bobby? Suddenly they're a wrestler instead of a biter. Hey! Bobby's remarkably, like, unharmed. So, so he doesn't shoot her. Or stab her. Oh! Oh. <laughs> Travis will kill you. Well. <laughs> that was a very true statement. <laughs> We, we can still save the others. It doesn't have to go down this way, man. Please. <laughs> okay. How, what's going to happen here? Well. Okay, well now literally everyone's dead, so I should probably... I should probably use a life here. <laughs> you can just straight up lose every character at that point. So you see, so you've killed Chris, which saves some characters, but not Silas. Well... Those are really fucking nasty face-opening wounds. That's just, uh, that's really uncomfortable. <laughs> Is he just gonna die anyway? <laughs> Wait! <laughs> what do you mean do I want to try to save him? Are you gonna rewind all the way back to the, whether or not he gets bit? I don't think there is a saving him. I think this is just gonna be a... I think we're just really fucked in this playthrough. <laughs> Everybody on this mission is dead. Chris has been shot, so... Nick and Abby are back. But... Now ever Now it's everybody versus... Caleb? And they don't know who Silas is. And... Nobody has silver. <laughs> Rock and roll! 